morning, everybody. Universal peace, God of law here. I'm addressing something this morning before I, I get dressed and get ready to get out of here. I'm addressing weak dominance. We talk about the weak dominant. This is what I meant. We talking about the original people, supposed to be the, the, the original people, the black people. And I noticed something about the original dominant. I had a lot of bullshit. Like I was was talking to my cousin the other day, pro black, and I was, you know, I'd be on Facebook, and I watch a lot of these black black men and women. You know, they talk about kings and queens. But I don't think they have an idea what royalty is, what kings and queens are. Like, for instance, my cousin was telling me the other day that, you know, black people in America, he he feel bad about being a black man in America because we don't have, everybody else have a place that they call home that they can send a barrel to, a barrel. Jamaicans, Haitians, Panamanians, or whatever, but Americans in the United States, they don't have a place that they could call home and that they can send a barrel to. Which is, you know, it's, it's, it's pure stupidity because we was born in the United States. So if we went to another country, we have a place we can send a barrel to. We send a barrel to back to the United States. Now, he's referring to Africa. Them Haitians and Jamaicans and Panamanians and the Guyanese, none of them are aboriginal to those lands, to them countries. So if they're Jamaicans, Haitians, Guyanese or whatever, Trinidadians, if they're in the United States, of course they got a place they're going to send the barrel back home. They're going to send it back to the country that they was born in. Nobody's sending no, no barrel back to Africa. Nobody send a barrel, a barrel back to Africa for one thing. For number two, they try to make it look like um, the white man came into that continent and kidnapped us out of that continent. Man, get the fuck out of here. You live in a hood. A strange black man ain't gonna walk into your neighborhood. I mean, excuse me, a strange white man or black man, either one, is not gonna walk into your neighborhood and do nothing in your neighborhood. Because the first thing everybody in the neighborhood know he don't belong there. So they're going to watch him. And then they might get on some shit with him. Attack or whatever. So how a white man going to walk up into the continent of Africa. And just kidnap and take all these black men out of there. And nothing happens. Now it didn't go down like that. It didn't go down like that. And my cousin told me, you know, he I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's the natural response. That's the natural response and reply of an edu uneducated motherfucking person with no education. To just go in there and listen to things that he see on a video on YouTube. You know, first of all, when I go to college, I was taught that before you write a paper, and you put your 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 information on it. Where you got this information from? You got to make sure that it's a credible source. We don't use Wikipedia. You got to make sure it's a credible source. Yeah, you could you, know, you could hear a lot of things from a lot of different places and sources and people, but that don't make it credible because if you heard because if you got something from a a man named. Joseph Dotwell, and then you looked at Joseph Dotwell, and Joseph Dotwell is a six-year-old boy. A six-year-old boy who was raised in Jersey City, who never left out of New Jersey, but he just decided he wanted to write some shit. That's not a credible source. That's not a credible source. He didn't do any research. So what I'm saying, so I'm gonna get into it like this: How how did we how did we get out of Africa? I'm gonna tell you how we got out of Africa. We had strong strong forces over there, armies, 
the warriors and so forth in Africa and um, it took all the weak the weak tribes to band together with to band to damn what the hell is all of this it took all the weak tribes to band together and to join f f forces with the Arabs and to join forces with the Europeans so when we went to war with them and there was war they conquered they kidnapped us one by one with the help of the Arabs and uh, Euro the Europeans that's how we got wound up out of there most, Amer most Africans who was in that transatlantic slave trade they was a part of a big strong kingdoms warrior kingdoms you left the weak motherfuckers over there and, and and the proof is in the pudding because if you look at that continent right now it's governed and controlled by people who who are not uh, uh, who are not original to that land like i think the, one of the first ones to take control over that land was the dutch that continent was a dutch People talk a lot of shit and they don't know what the f what they're talking about, man. They don't know what they're talking about. Like I said, you know, I do college. I do college. My major would be psychology. My minor would be theology. And um, you try to tell me something about why I'm worshiping a Jesus and I'm praying. I'm praying to a Jesus when there was other s s saviors here before Jesus and so forth. Then he take you back to Africa, to Egypt. Listen, man, listen, listen. I don't give a fuck if it was Australia, Ethiopia, wherever. The message is the message. I'm not listening to the man. Later for the messenger. The message is a message and that is the man. Like I'm always saying, I deal with knowledge itself. I'm not self. S E L F. I don't deal with the flesh. F L E S H. I don't care who brought the message. I don't care if Jesus was white with blue eyes or black with purple eyes. The message is the same. And if you had any light in your body, you would be able to discern the light. And the truth of the message. This is how a lot of people they go to church and they get caught up on. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I follow Jesus. And this dude over here talk about, oh, I'm Ethiopian. I follow Holly Selassie. I had one dude tell me that Holly Selassie, he put Holly Selassie name in the same sentence with the Trinity. I doubt. Whoever told him, but I doubt Holly Selassie acknowledged or dealt with the Trinity. The Trinity didn't come into existence. The Trinity was created and came into existence and it was given power by the Council of Nicaea. The black people always think they know everything. And they know everything, that means you can't learn shit. You need to stop being ignorant. And then in the same note, he gonna tell me there's something about all oh, the black women over here. They they they've been what manipulated or they lost because the government became their husband and their father because they chose to take food stamps. And deny their men and the fathers. Man, listen. And then at the same note, when he's saying that, trying to put black women as victims, but you turn it around and you slutting these women out, you won't do nothing. You won't do nothing for black women. 
you call her a thotty, a hoe, a bitch, and all whatnot. But yet, right before that, you just were saying she was a victim. If she's a victim, you're supposed to help her out, wake her up. So, you know, you know, they tell you, like I said, I'm going to go back into the Bible. You call me religious, you call me whatever you want to call me. I'm not religious. But, but you know, they said you can tell an apple, you you, you, you can tell the, the tree by the type of fruit that it bit. When you talking bull, that means the tree is bull. The tree is bull. You're not going to sit here and try to get me to hate people. I don't hate people. I hate stupidity. I don't have a problem with women. I have a problem with idiots. E idiots. Idiot. Don't know nothing. And instead of you listening, and I mean, when I say listen, I don't mean I'm your slave master. I mean, just hear what's being said to you. And go somewhere by yourself in a corner and think about what was said. And don't lie to yourself. Don't 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 lie to yourself. Compare what you just heard to the shit that's in your head. And deal with the truth and deal with reality. I don't want to be your slave master. I just want to be that word that's in your head that make you think. That's it. I'm not your master. You gotta master yourself. Become your own master. And then after you master yourself, you come and join the ranks. That's what it is. I deal with freedom, justice, and equality. There ain't no followers and ain't no leaders. You know, you can't go to war without a weapon. I'm trying to give weapons, mental weapons, so you got something to use. So I ain't, so you ain't always gotta be riding up under me, or you ain't gotta ride up under a religion. And you ain't gotta ride up under nothing because all the prophets and all the messages, that's what they came. They came to enlighten, so you have your own personal power, so you could join the fight. Even the father in my nation, the nation. A five percent nation. You got guards that's walking around here, and every time you hear bill, them building, they build on the same shit. Sound like puppets. Re repeat TV shows of Andy Griffin. The same thing. They don't have them. They don't never build on nothing new. So something that they just thought about. Some original. How come the original man? is loaded with so much carbon copy shit. There's nothing original about you. You call yourself God. But what is it that you created? You didn't create anything. You, you, you're no better than them so-called street dudes. You got people, want, guys on the street running around here looking, calling themselves Capone and Gotti and Frank Nitty, who the fuck are you? Who are you? You taking on names of characters that already exist. Do you establish anything for yourself? Did you establish anything for yourself? Do you know your foundation? Do you know where you came from? In other words, do you know your existence, what your existence was before you even hit Africa, that continent that we now call Africa. You don't even know who you are. You're not in control of nothing. You are whoever your parents told you you was. And you're not even that because your parents told you who you was because somebody told them who they was. Who are you? And don't tell me your name is Tommy or Akbar or Ferragami or whatever you want to call yourself. Don't tell me that's who you is. Because you ain't religious. 
But that burning bush told Moses, I am. What is I am? Who are you? Do you know the difference between the self and the flesh? Like I said, it's the self, S-E-L-F, and flesh, F-L-E-S-H. They're the same words, but the difference is the flesh has an H attached to it that lets you that lets you try to decide if it's either a him, a him or her, which puts you in a f physical reality. You're not the flesh, because if you drop dead today and land in that casket, everybody's gonna say he's a part of this world, but the. The flesh is still laying in the casket, so you know you the self. What is the self? The oneness of the self. You know, this is why I'm going into psychology and world cultures. The flesh is the flesh, which you are not, which I am not. The self is the self. What is the self? The self is that energy that you call soul or spirit. That animates the flesh. That is, the self is you. The self is me. The self is whoever. You know, they say God is seen and heard everywhere. Because that energy cannot be contained. The energy can't be held. It, it's all, it's every place. So I say that to say that the universal duality, quality, whatever you want to call it. Don't sit here and tell me no bullshit about no white man and black man and Asian man and this religion and that religion and this country and that country because when you start talking about different individual things, you're talking about a separation, a split and you're speaking devil language, the language of a savage idiot. Nothing is separated, nothing is divided, everything is the same. Everything is the same. And you ask and you want to know why white people don't accept you. You don't accept you. You you don't accept yourself. How do you accept yourself when you when 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 you call you you so called a Christian but you bash Islam? How you call yourself accepting yourself? When you from the country, from the south, and you don't like northerners, black northerners, how you call yourself a part of, how do you call yourself the truth when you are Jamaican and you don't like Haitians, and you are Haitian and you don't like Jamaicans, and you talking about Holly Selassie is the truth, and Jesus is a lie. Muhammad is a lie. It ain't none of that a lie. Each one of them came to the people in the geographical regions and areas where they were supposed to come and spread a message to wake them up. You know, they contributed to the cause. They contributed to the cause. It was you idiots. You idiots. It wasn't Muhammad. Muhammad taught Islam. But it's you idiots that want to break it down and make it denominations. Sunnis and Shiites and Ansars and all this. Man, Islam is Islam. The same thing with anything. Don't 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 sit here and talk to me about you knowing the truth. And you sitting up in fucking poverty. You don't like your brother. Everybody your brother. As a matter of fact, you don't got no brother. Everybody is you. The flesh is what gives you a brother or a sister. Your brother and your sister is you. And you, your brother and your sister. You don't have a brother and a sister. You just have you. I need to go someplace with that nonsense.